Good afternoon, good afternoon. Hey, B Sears, this is Daphne Ball again. I want y'all to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. I'm out and about. I got a sweatshirt on. I don't woke up, come get some gas because you know today it's Monday and I think Saturday where you get the premium gas for the uh, regular price. The plus gas, not the premium. Premium is expensive. Anyway, I'm out and about. I look at the house. Hell, I ain't know it was 77 degrees. I got on a sweatshirt. And guess what? I'm getting my hair fixed tomorrow. So I ain't got that as bunny on. But you know what, people? I've been thinking, contemplating on this whole issue with just Chris Rock and, and um, Will Smith. And I was saying to myself, you know what? When I was little, I was being bullied and I didn't realize it. Because my last name about my hair, my last name was Ball. And people used to tell me that I was bald headed and stuff. But you know what? I wasn't bald headed. I just had real fine hair. I had real good hair like my grandmother. But you know what? It used to hurt my feelings. I didn't understand why people would do that. And then, you know, I thought, now that I'm older, I was being bullied. And I said, kids are the cruelest. And I can remember being bullied at school a whole lot. And then I was in about the third grade, I believe I was. And somebody went and told my sister that they was bullying me. My sister came off the fourth grade side, baby. Let me tell you what my sister did. My sister came off the fourth grade side. Did it happen? My sister came off the fourth grade side. She came up there. They was on the, we was on the playground. She hit this girl. And she she beat this girl up for me. And then then these people, one of them was my cousin, my sister, got them and made and, and made her stand in front of the tetherball pole and wrapped the tetherball pole around the ball around. And she told her they could she have to come back. Then she was going to gonna tear their tail up about leave me alone. Because I wasn't a fighter. And I just didn't understand why, you know, they was doing that. And then, like I said, now I look back at the people that bullied me and stuff. And um, how my life is, how my life is, um, is different. How, you know, I made it. Uh, my mama died when I was in 66 when I was little. My grandmother came to Chicago and got us and brought us um, to her hometown. And if it wasn't for her and my grandfather at the time, I don't know where me and my sister would be. And I think about, you know, I'm a small town girl and how I done went to college and my grandmother, um, she didn't have much, but she always strived education. So when I got ready to go to college, my grandmother went up there and signed for that loan for me to go. She signed all four years for me to go to get my degree. And if my grandmother wouldn't have signed, I couldn't have got the loan. And when I got through, I paid it back because her land, everything was tied to that loan. I never forgot that she did that for me. My grandmother was my best friend. I would go and do stuff for my grandmother. And even after I got through and got a job, I have always make sure I was working the weekends so I could go take her to the doctor's office, run down there, pick up stuff for her, take her to the store, go pay her bills. Just let her know I appreciated what she did for me. You know, if she needs something paid, I paid it and stuff. Even though she had other kids and stuff, I said, she was she was the only mother I knew. And uh, I thought about it. I said, man, I said, I come a long way. And I said, I didn't realize I was being bullied when I was little. I said, but then I think about it, I said, well, damn. I said, but it didn't, it kind of affected me in a way. When my, I think that's the reason why I have issues not knowing about my hair and stuff like that because of that. And, you know, I didn't know how to perm my hair until I was in about the ninth grade. And my uncle, uh, wife, Bill, she came and told me how to perm my hair and stuff and everything. And all this kind of stuff, you know. But, yeah. So, yeah, people, you just really don't know what in your life that can affect you. And, you know, you go back and I thought about it and I thought about it. I said, you know what? I was bullied. But back then, they didn't call it that, you know. But now that's what they call it now. But, uh, I don't think, hmm, I don't know. So, I be looking at people, how they say stuff and do stuff. And, um, you just have to be careful and mindful of people. How you, how you treat people and stuff. That's what I was thinking. And positive vibes, they go a long way. You always got to think, because I'm going to tell you right now, my grandmother always said, if you ain't got anything good to say about somebody, keep your mouth shut. They don't need no negativity from you. If that's what you're going to do, go on. 
because really what you don't want to harm nobody either intentionally or intentionally harm people because you know you never know how because words have power you know so you don't know how words affect somebody but I'm up and about today and I'm finna go to the shoe store and look at some shoes but yeah but I wanted to come to y'all give y'all a quick video and this is Celine Hi. and I'm sitting in my truck I'm getting some gas as I said yeah but I want you all to share, like, and subscribe my videos. Or come comment and tell me what you think about bullying. And if you were bullied when you were little, how it affected you. And then how your parents raised you to deal with being bullied. And, you know, if you told your parents, that's, that's what was going on. Because sometimes you don't tell nobody. They don't know. And that's another thing when I raised my kids. I raised my kids to always be tell me no matter what what's going on. I might be pissed about it, but I want you to be able to talk and tell me if somebody doing something, you are saying something that they're not supposed to be saying to you, whether it's relatives or it doesn't matter. Because my job as a parent was to make sure I protected you and made sure nobody wasn't doing nothing they weren't supposed to be doing to you. And my kids, I didn't let my kids go out, stay with people's house and stuff. I wanted to always be aware of what was going on with my kids and in my kids' life, you know. But I'm finna get off of this here because this man behind me about to blow and I'm finna be looking crazy like this. Y'all have a good day. Share, like, and subscribe. My name is Daphne Ball. Bye.